Welcome to the MAC National Game of the Week presented by Pepsi Max. Tonight we are in Bridgeport, Connecticut, a matchup between Monmouth and Fairfield here at Webster Bank Arena. A check on the latest MAC standings, Canisius and Iona in the driver's seat, Manhattan, Quinnipiac and Ryder right there in the hunt as well. Hello everyone, alongside former Division I assistant coach Rob Kennedy, I'm John Brickley, glad to have you with us. Monmouth and Fairfield, the two youngest teams in the MAC conference, two teams coming in on losing streaks, two teams who want to win to build upon. And both these teams have struggled partly because they are so young. For Fairfield, they start all freshmen and sophomores. On the other side, 11 newcomers for the Monmouth Hawks. And Monmouth has played better at times, including the last couple of minutes, the first time these two teams met. A terrific game that came down the stretch. Monmouth made plays. Fairfield unable to do so. As we take a look at our one-on-one, -on -one, two premier scoring options for both sides on display tonight. Well, for Monmouth, the first-year transfer, Deion Jones, has been able to light it up, averaging over 15 a game. He's had seven games of 20 or more. And with all the young guys, will we bring a senior statesman for Fairfield, Maurice Barrow, having a terrific senior year, coming off a good game, an efficient game, 22 points on 7 of 12 from the floor last time out against Ryder. Monmouth trying to snap a three-game losing streak here at our MAC National Game of the Week. They have a one-point advantage over Fairfield at the half, 28-27. to 27. Welcome back, everyone, alongside former Division I assistant coach Rob Kennedy. I'm John Brickley. First half, you can sum up in one simple way. When you have more turnovers combined for both teams than combined field goals, that makes for an ugly half. And it was at times. Both teams playing hard, but neither team able to get any kind of fluid offense going. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. Both teams, Rob, off to a sluggish start. Well, early on, Mammoth was able to get Red Nicholas involved, but after that, then Fairfield took him away. Nicholas has got good enough size that he can get into the lane and knock down floaters, and he is a terrific three-point shooter. Even got fouled on that one. Not much going from the freshman backcourt, although Robinson was able to squeeze this three-pointer off. And Mammoth, when they can get out in transition and they can get themselves going, that's when they can get some flow offensively. But as we said, not a whole lot of flow for either team going offensively. As for Fairfield, they were able to get the three-point shot in the form of their senior, Maurice Barrow. Well, he got him going early. They took a bunch of threes in that first half. Three for 11. This one from the walk-on, Stevie Johnston, on terrific ball reversal. At times, they've got some size advantages, but the three-point line, once again, was friendly to them early. And K.J. Rose, when he's got that size advantage and can get into the lane, they got to try to figure out ways to put him in isolation. As we take a look at the first half stats, both teams struggling from the floor. Monmouth, though, dominating at the free throw line. That's been the big difference so far. And that's been a problem, as we said earlier, all season long for the Stags. They're outscored on average by eight again game from the foul line. And that first half, Monmouth with six more. We'll step aside, have much more from Bridgeport, Connecticut here at Webster Bank Arena. Monmouth leading Fairfield by one at the break. Monmouth pushing, other end. Nicholas spotting up for three, gets it, and the foul. Gilbert with the floater that just misses, back iron, and quickly in transition to the Hawks. And this is where they want to be, running the floor. Beautiful backdoor cut, and Deion Jones on the other end gets the basket, has a chance for the three-point play. Now Gilbert one-on-one -on -one with Nicholas. Sadibi now. Gives it off to Rose. Rose, the nice fake, up and under move, and a nice job by the freshman point guard. Gilbert one-on-one -on -one with Nicholas. Here as we approach 10 seconds on the shot clock. Big opportunity for Fairfield. Rose spotting up and hits the long jumper. Nine-point advantage here for Fairfield. The coach's timeout here from King Rice for Monmouth as Rose got 11, Fairfield, largest lead of the game by nine. 10-0 run here for Monmouth, they lead by one. Just about five minutes to go in this second half. Barrow spotting up, cannot knock it down, and Fairfield's offense has gone ice cold. James on the other end, wraparound shot, goes down, count it and one. 10-0 run here for Monmouth, they lead by one. Just about five minutes to go in this second half. Barrow spotting up. Cannot knock it down, and Fairfield's offense has gone ice cold. James on the other end, wraparound shot, goes down, count it and one. A great finger roll in English on that to get the finish out in the open floor. 
Mammoth team, so much better in the open floor. And Josh James, a terrific finisher in the open floor. James with eight points as Monmouth continues to build on this lead. A 12-0 run. James can't complete the three-point play. And now free throws are starting yeah. to become the Achilles heel for the Hawks. Now just 13 to 21, and that one was not close. Now the blocking foul that goes against James on the other side. Both teams in the bonus. As for James, that'll be his second personal foul. And this is where Rose has struggled this year, just 51% from the free throw line. When you have numbers like that compared to the numbers from three-point range, not what you want to call a solid investment here for a point guard. Now you've got to be able to shoot the basketball better, and he nearly turned it over as Deleo got a hand on. Mac fans, the 2014 Mac Indoor Track and Field Championships return to the New Balance Armory Track and Field Center in New York City. Be sure to come out on February 21st to support your Mac team. That would end a 12-0 run, those two free throws here by Fairfield. Cuts the deficit back to one for the Stags as we approach the four-minute mark. Mammoth content to take some time off the clock, down to 15 seconds, time to get going. James driving through, swatted away by Sadibi on the other end. Rose, the freshman pushing hard, gets the bucket to drop. And now Fairfield has a one-point lead. 15 on the night for the freshman Rose. And I don't know if I like Mammoth holding the basketball out there. Remember King Rice, a product of the four corners of Dean Smith, and Obviously, it's been real effective, but I think it slowed him down on that possession. A back-and-forth battle here tonight in Bridgeport. Jones trying to answer. Great effort by O'Garro to keep it alive. Jones able to track it down. Good job by Sadibi to get a hand up against the Leo. The best three-point shooter in the back at over 53%. The Leo thinking about the three. Now settled play here with Robinson. 15 left on the shot clock. The given side. O'Garro comes up with the bucket and Monmouth answers. Yeah, great play by James to draw two defenders. All O'Garro had to do was catch it because he was right at the rim. Seven ties, five lead changes here tonight at Webster Bank Arena. Monmouth and Fairfield. Fourth all-time meeting. Fairfield leading 2-1. Trying to avoid the season sweep by the Hawks. Barrow on his way, stripped. It'll stay with Fairfield. What a game we have in Bridgeport. Monmouth up by one. We're back for an exciting finish.